guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you all. I'm sorry this is the first video of the new year, but I did officially just finish my first term of university, so I handed in my final piece of work yesterday, and I was planning on getting this video out to you guys on Friday, you know, for Fossil Friday, but unfortunately I decided to nap instead, so we're here for Fossil Saturday, because I just needed a break, my brain needed a break, but I now have a nice month off before I start my second term, so um, you guys can have me prepping fossils for a month, so I hope you all had a lovely start to the new year, I know here in England it's been a bit hectic for us and we are all locked in, but I mean it can be a positive thing if we try and make it one, but I have plenty of fossil product pro products, projects to get done here. I don't know if you can see how cold it is, but <sighs> yeah, it's uh, pretty cold where I am right now, and I am fighting with the last light of the day, which is crazy because it's literally only four o'clock, but that is just how our light is going at the moment. So if it does get dark, I will put the lights on and it goes like this horrible yellowy light, but we're just gonna have to work with it. So I do apologize. And obviously I'm back home. So we're fighting my neighbors for peace and quiet. So uh, there'll be quite a lot of blowing or lawn mowing going on because I swear they just wait for me to start filming and then, but maybe that's just me. Who knows? Who knows? But in today's video, I'm going to be prepping some fossils for you guys back doing what I, I've missed it a lot since I've been in France. I'm excited to get back prepping everything on my wonderful table here and just... I literally love this one that I prepped before I went to France. I'll put the video down below if you guys missed it, but look how amazing that turned out. Like, I think this is one of my favourite ammonite fossils. Like, I just love it. But today I thought I would prep the Nautilus I found in France. For those of you who watched my channel, you probably saw um, the one I found at Cap Air, which uh, broke into a few pieces when I prepped it. I'll also link the videos down below if you'd like to catch up and watch me break this fossil. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to glue it back together as long as my super glue hasn't frozen. So I'm gonna go find my super glue and then I'll flip you over and we can see if we can fix it. Okay, so this is my very sad looking Nautilus that I broke in France. So I've got to try and hold it where it'll focus for you guys. Is it going to focus? Maybe. There we go. So you can see that this is most of the Nautilus here and then the bit like the end bit here broke off as well. So I've got four bits to try and super glue together, but my super glue has decided not to stay alive for me in the five months I've been away, which I suppose is acceptable. But it is liquid inside, so I've just got to try and find a way to get into the top. Um, but I've got another super glue to use, so all is well. So let's get gluing. So I'm going to glue the two biggest pieces together first. Now I've not tried this super glue before, so I'm not sure if this one will work. So let's give it a go. Apologies if you can hear the noise, but I think my microphone should cancel most of it out, so I'm just going to go with it. So I've just put a lump there, and then let's see. Okay, let's just hold it. There we go. I might put slightly too much on because you can see it coming through the crack. But that's okay because I love my Paraloid, so I'll just smother the whole thing in Paraloid if it all looks shiny. So we hold it. And then I've just got these two really tiny pieces to get on it. So just like this. I, I think I should have used a little bit less super glue just so it didn't come through the crack, but it just means it should be a good hold. So, it looks good. That seems to be holding nicely. So, let's do this side now. These two tiny pieces I have left, they used to just be one piece and it's obviously broken into two since I was travelling home but now I'm trying to figure out where they go and I think this one must go in here somewhere but it's not like a perfect fit so I don't know if I'm just making that fit I feel like it doesn't, it used to fit perfectly so I might actually leave them out so let me just see how this one looks in I'm gonna guess it must go in here somewhere Oh. This is not my favourite type of jigsaw to do. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm going to take them out because they're not a clean fit. And I think that is lovely in itself. So obviously I do have a lovely shiny super glue line. But I think if I paint, if I clean it up a little bit better because it has, you know, a few more areas I could probably clean up better than I did with my nail. Um, that was a nail and a hammer, not like my actual nails. I'm not crazy like that. But um, yeah, I think if I clean it up a little bit better and then maybe coat the whole thing in a Paraloid, 
it might look like a really nice specimen but at least it's in one piece now so it's in need of a little more work but it's better than it was so this is just a closer up view of the finished product so i don't like how the super glue looks like that along the crack line but let me know if you have any tips on how to get rid of the excess before it dries or maybe i just need to use less but i think if i make the whole thing go shiny with paraloid you won't be able to see it and it's such a lovely nautilus that i found i think i can definitely make it work so at least it's in one piece now which is a good step i think so that's today's video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little fossil prep. I know it wasn't a big piece, but I thought it would be a nice way to start 2021 off just because I found this piece, you know, whilst I was in France and it needed just a very little job with a bit of glue. Um, but obviously I can make it better, I think. So I'll await your suggestions before I start attacking this one with Paraloid. I definitely think I started really liking Paraloid and putting it on everything. But I have no regrets. I love how it looks. But anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I've got some big projects planned for the next few weeks, so I hope you're excited to follow me along with those. But I think I have to stop now because it is very cold now and it is pitch black outside. Like if I go turn the lights off, watch this. Like, hi. I think it's time to maybe stop filming. So I'll go pop them back on. <laughs> But yes, basically, thank you so much for watching. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to check any of that out, along with some other bits and bobs and other videos you can watch on the pieces I showed you at the start. But I hope you're all doing well. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and I hope you're excited for my next video. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.